Today, you'll look at pre-infusion on machines equipped with E61 brew groups. How to do it, how to test it, and how it can be different if a machine is using a reservoir or it's plumbed in and receiving line pressure. Hey, espresso lovers, Mark here from WholeLatteLove.com. Today, I'll be demonstrating on this Profitech Pro 700, which can be connected to and fed by your household plumbing or used an internal reservoir. But First, why pre-infuse or wet coffee prior to brewing in the first place? Well, some people feel it makes the brewing process a little more forgiving of slight errors in things like grind distribution. And beyond that, some say it has beneficial effects on the flavor or character of espresso. So how do you pre-infuse on an E61 equipped machine? Well, every machine is a little different, but here's how to find out. With your machine fully warmed up and the portafilter out of the group, raise the lever to the midpoint. Now, a common misconception is that midpoint stop is the pre-infusion position. As you can see on the Pro 700, it is not. No water is released. Another misconception is the midpoint stop will pre-infuse if the machine is plumb to line pressure, and we'll take a look at that in a moment. But raise the lever just a hair further, and there it is. On my Pro 700, there's a spot between the midpoint stop and where the cam activates the switch to turn on the pump. That position opens the brew valve and water dribbles out without the pump being activated. Right now, my machine is using the reservoir, so it's pressure from within the brew boiler pushing the water out. I measured how much water was coming out and I consistently got about one ounce or 30 milliliters in 10 seconds. Now, your machine can be different. When I switch to using the plumbed in connection on the Pro 700, it operates the same as far as the lever position to get pre-infusion, but it's different as far as the amount of water dispensed. I got about three ounces or 90 milliliters in 10 seconds. Another key difference when it's plumbed in, it's the line pressure pushing the water through. As you can see, that line pressure reads on my brew pressure gauge. That won't do that on all machines, but mine is about four bars or 60 PSI, which is close to what you'll find in most home plumbing systems. So on my machine, pre-infusion is different depending on the water source. When using the reservoir, it's less water and little or no pressure. With a lack of pressure, most people call that pre-wetting the coffee. When using the plumbed in water supply, pressure is applied on my machine and it's that pressure which is part of the classic definition of pre-infusion. So little or no pressure and it's pre-wetting and when pressure is involved it's pre-infusion. Now some things to be aware of. First, not every machine operates like my Pro 700 here. So do test yours and find out how it works. For example, some plumbed in machines have a solenoid valve which only opens the machine to line pressure when the pump is on. With those you won't get line pressure pre-infusion just pre-wetting from excess pressure in the boiler. Now, on some machines, it may be difficult to find the point that opens the brew valve without activating the switch that starts the pump. If that's your machine, know that switch can usually be adjusted so you can move the lever a little more and get water flowing without turning the pump on. So does pre-wetting or pre-infusion really help in any way? Well, my gut feeling is a big meh, maybe. I talked to lots of espresso heads about it and read lots of opinions, but really that's what I ended up with, opinions and no definitive proof. So do you have an opinion on pre-infusion? Use those comments and let's talk about it. I'm Mark, thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe to our channel and come back soon for more of the good stuff on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com.